So hi everybody. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just recovering from a flu, so you have you have to count into three minutes. So uh, my laboratory is interested in conformational diseases, which is which are caused by mutation which destabilizing various plasma membrane proteins which are critical in the cellular physiology. We are particularly interested in cystic fibrosis protein, which is called CFTR, because this is one of the most prevalent genetic disease in the Caucasian population. Its prevalence is one in 3,000, with a life expectancy at the moment 37 years. So it's a devastating disease. It's caused by the mutation in cystic fibrosis in CFTR, which is a chloride channel ensuring transepithelial chloride and water movement in all these organs what are indicated on the slides. And when, they are, when the channel is impaired, there is a dehydration of the luminal content of all these organs, which uh, severe consequences of all the organs' uh, functionality. So CFTR is a polytopic membrane protein, as it illustrated in this figure, with five uh, major domains. The most prevalent mutation is also indicated is the delta 508 deletion of a single amino acid identifiable in 90% of the patient. This mutation causing three major defects. This is the mutation is indicated in the Perth in a critical location in the predicted three-dimensional structure of the molecule. So the three major dysfunctionality or biological defect of CFTR is illustrated here. One is the channel opening is impaired. The second one is the channel is predominantly retained, labeled by green, inside the cells at the endoplasmic reticulum and cannot reach the location at the cell surface. And the third defect is the destabilization of the molecule if it reaches the cell surface, it's metabolically very unstable. So how does, so how does the delta 508 impairs the folding of CFTR? That's the $1 million question. To answer that, we decided to understand better the folding of the molecule in vivo. And for that reason, we, uh, we, we have done uh, uh, many years of work and proposed recently a model which entails two structural defects, namely the MBD1 domain where the mutation is located, and secondly, the interaction between domains. So these two things has to be repaired to have a robust rescue of Delta 508 for drug discovery purposes. The second project what I, uh, the lab is interested in is to understand how impaired plasma membrane protein removed from the cell surface. And I can uh, give you more details in the informal discussion. Here we have a model uh, to illustrate that uh, essential process which maintains cellular homeostasis. And thank you for your attention and for, for those who, who done the work and funded the project.